Licking them lips. Come on, lick them again. Especially with women like you. This is the other side of Kirk Franklin praise. (laughs) 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 This is the record. 45 minutes left. It's a two hour and 46 minute interview. It's a lot. We about to go. I had it on while I was getting ready. I just got my Lululemon um, sports jacket on with some regular leggings. I don't know why it's so dark up in here, but yeah, we're about to head out. Okay, okay, we are on the road, hunty. Happy New Year. We doing a few errands running around in the hood. Everybody knows in Chicago, if you want fresh, beautiful seafood, that you have to go to the fish market. So that's where we're going today because this weekend, girl, we are chilling in the house. We're doing a seafood boil. We're taking a bubble bath with bath oils and soaps and stuff like that. So it's gonna be really fun. I cannot wait for you to join me. I stopped at my favorite beauty supply to pick up some more of my African Pride um, hair conditioner. I love this. I have this in my hair right now. This is what have my hair popping. keeping up with the gypsy rose story a little bit i don't even know like what happened and how everything was orchestrated and set up and stuff like that i've been kind of following since her release but girl i saw an interview today gypsy rose got her a new man (laughs) the man that slaughtered her mama that's in prison for life baby she ain't worried about him she said good luck god bless you my boy and um she talking about they might start a family gypsy rose gypsy rose gypsy rose slow down slow down mama okay you don't need to be starting no family boo boo you need a lifetime of therapy you need parenting classes if you were ever to even think about it if you were thinking about starting a family you need to be highly working on yourself right now like highly working on yourself right now before you even start trying to pour into anybody else learn who gypsy rose is learn deal with the trauma sit in that because baby like you did a lot like you've been through a lot and that's a lot to unpack babe so i don't know if you ready to pour into somebody like that i think that you deserve to pour into you someone send this to gypsy rose let her know that at this point in her life she deserves to pour into herself she don't deserve to pour into nobody else right now give yourself gypsy and love uh, uh, your man and love a child and love others after you've loved on you for a while my girl okay i think that that's your route i don't think you should be in a relationship Uh, i definitely don't think you should be a mother focus on gypsy rose Oh, 
I look so dry in this part now that the holidays is over. Oh, so pretty. Oh no, look what I did. No. In today's age, somebody had left me a comment and they said, oh, I love your, your vlogs. Um, no, she said, oh, I love your video diaries. She was like, you know, I really would love to be able to go out in public without, you know, all of the scrutiny and stuff. Basically, that's what she was saying. And she was saying, you know, because she's from a small town. Girl, listen, even when you're from a big town like me, people are getting used to it. And they're getting, I guess, the courage or bold enough to kind of ask you, like, what you filming for? Like, you guys have seen several people just blatantly ask me what you filming for. Like, just not because they doing a policy with, you know, their facility or their place of business or anything. They're asking for their own personal, you know, information. They're asking, oh, what you filming for? You know, just making conversation or whatever. And they're asking you, but see what, what they don't really understand is, you know, they are asking you about your own personal business. You know what I mean? I don't want to share what I do and who I am with every single person. You know what I mean? I want to share what I do and who I am, where it's beneficial, where it's useful. You know what I mean? Like, that's just like, you know, people coming up to you, asking you, what you what you at the doctor's office today for? Or, you know, you, at, you going to the doctor today? You at the doctor today? It's like, that's your personal business. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's life, it's small talk, it's, it's chat or whatever. But a lot of people feel like entitled to be able to ask you. They feel like if they ask you, you're supposed to answer them. They feel like that's not being intrusive. They feel like it's okay to kind of just like ask you, like, are you on YouTube? You know what I mean? Are you filming for YouTube? And what kind of camera is that? And diff different types of stuff. And I mean, it's it's okay because some people are just like curious and they just want to know and they just make a conversation and they feel inspired by you. And it's just different types of scenarios. However, you know what I mean? It is something that people have to be prepared for. It is something that people like need to know that you're not entitled to. Like my sweetheart, he was so sweet when I met him out and he was like, oh my God, you actually put me in your video because like he knows that like I'm not entitled to like put you in my video or tell you what I'm doing or talk to you about anything or have to like disclose anything to you. Like some people like know that they don't have the right and some people just kind of ask intrusively and they don't know that you know you all in my business and you being a little invasive with your questioning and it makes me a little bit uncomfortable i know that you're doing you know um you just like asking and you're just curious and it's harmless and you mean no harm and all of that blah 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 all of that said right it, it still does not negate the fact or negate how you may possibly be making me feel and when it comes down to who's going to win as far as comfortability I'm not gonna make myself feel uncomfortable just so that you can feel comfortable you feel me like I'm gonna pick me you know what I mean and if if, if things make me feel uncomfortable or certain lines of questioning or I feel uncomfortable with just you personally it's just you you know what I mean like a lot of people have to know like I don't have to like answer you you know what I mean like 
um, most people that I run into is sweet and some people I run into the energy the vibe it's a little off and it feels a little intrusive and it feels nosy and it feels invasive and it feels you know it doesn't feel like it feels like it feel like they feel like I got to answer them and I got to get in my social handles and they finna look me up and see what I do and all of this stuff like that. I'm not for everybody. Um, if I wanted, you know, all of Chicago to know, I'll, I'll buy a billboard. There's nothing to buy a billboard. You see what I'm saying? Like, we have to understand that, you know what I mean? When we, when we are... We have to understand that yes, we are in a day and age and where like you will see people out and that is like small talk now. You know what I mean? Like in the back in the day somebody might bought up, you know, talk about this. Like, oh the headband. I had one like it years ago. It's so nice. Where'd you get yours? Is it warm? Blah blah blah. Like that's just small talk. You know what I mean? People may address you and what you have on or what you're doing and stuff like that so I get it but it's always the context in which it's being done it's always the energy that's being felt if a person is nice and sweet I can feel that and I can also feel like if I feel like you just being nosy and I feel like you really don't care and you're not interested but you just feel like you know what I mean you finna get all up in my business so it's it's always you know pros and cons to everything i know that content creation looks shiny and it looks so fun and it looks like oh you know this is all this person has to do and all of this stuff like that and i can do it and you can you know what i mean i don't want people to feel discouraged like they can't do it but it is pros and cons to everything you have to think about a lot you have to know like it's just a lot to think about it's a lot to think about it's a lot that comes with it like people in the comment section you know what i mean i can tell a disingenuous comment you know what i mean it's commenters out here who every time i read their comment they have a beautiful comment each and every time i've never questioned and i've never said oh you know what they mean by that like their comment is always very clear that it's a nice sweet kind comment and then it's commenters that you know because there's a lot of new subbies that come in and they're doing more talking than they're doing listening right so um they come in doing a whole lot of talking and you know um it's, it, they, they're pretending like they love me so much, like they like me so much. When in actuality, I can, count, I can I already know that you're hate watching. And it's not something that I know initially. You know what I mean? This is not something that people find initially. But we know people by their fruit. And we know people by their actions. Because when you are hate watching someone, that's going to eventually come out. When somebody really mess with you for real, for real, you know. When somebody not is messing with you and they fake and they phony and they don't really like you for real like that and they watching just waiting for you to drop the bomb, just waiting to have something to say, just waiting to pick you apart, that's going to also come out because they ain't going to be able to even wait. You know what I mean? They're going to start saying little shit and doing little shit and fucking with you before that time even comes, especially a woman, especially a female, which is my, which is primarily my audience is primarily female based right so they're gonna say a little something and do a little something and you know at times because i am so understanding because i do believe in giving women grace we have different fluctuations with hormones and we just need to be giving grace to one another especially black women on black women we need to give learn to give a little bit more grace to one another instead of being happy when you know you see a man dog a woman out and you think that he gonna do you any different or he like i don't like how that bitch ugly or something like that and you find joy in that because it makes you feel like you have something on her when in actuality what you need to be looking at is the character of that man how he would sit up and say and do somebody like that and treat somebody like that and speak words over somebody like that but that's it that impress a lot of you hoes you know what i mean and that's who i'm talking to in these videos the hate watchers the hate the, the hating ass hoes that impress a lot of these hoes so i already know like to have grace um with 
you know, people and to I, I already feel I already just look at things a little bit different and I already I already approach things differently as far as how many chances you gonna get with me and how much grace I'm gonna actually give you. So if you come if your comment says anything, you got one time. You got one time with me in the comment section for me to be confused about what it is that you mean. If you call yourself, you fuck with me, right? And you, you, you all in my face. You chopping it up with me like you fuck with me, right? You got one time to confuse me about what does she mean by that? And after that, I'm after me giving you grace one time. I'm not giving you grace no more because the 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 Bible says that God is not the author of confusion. So if I'm confused by your comment and I don't know what it means and I, I'm offended by it and I was just about to block you, but I'm like, oh wait, hold on. Now I'm confused because this is the girl that been leaving all the comments. This is the chick that, you know what I mean? It been in my face, claim she liked me so much. You know what I mean? So um, I'm, I was just about to block her. So now I feel confused. That got one time to happen. That got one time to happen, because if it ever happens again, then you're definitely on the block block list. You will be joining the block party, because God is not the author of confusion. I have people that's in my comments. I have never been confused by their comment. I was never, ever, ever about to block them after I read their comment, and I feel like I'm giving them a chance and all of that. Every time they leave a comment, it's a positive comment. I'm not confused by it. It's sweet. It's straight to the point. I understand. I, I don't feel like, you know, they coming for me or that was backhanded or, or underhanded or anything because I am very highly intelligent. I am a highly intelligent person. I know how to discern. I know how to read between the lines. I know what backhanded compliments and things like that is. And I know when people are doing what I perceive as just talking a little too much. Like you could have kept that so you ain't have to say that. So when it comes to the videos that I put out, when it comes to the, the makeup lessons that I teach and all of that stuff like that, whatever I say, I feel like just respect it. And if you don't respect it and you go against what I say in any way, then you're probably not meant to be in, on this channel because as I've stated before, I'm not going to defend anything, right? So if I make uh, a video titled Simple Makeup, then that's it. Like if you come in the comments, I wouldn't call this simple, you're blocked. If I make a video called beginner makeup and you come in the comments saying, this ain't necessarily beginner makeup, I will, I'm not saying anything to you. You block. If I make a video say, oh, this is for dark skin women. This video is, uh, is for uh, makeup for, for dark skin. And you come in the comments and you say, Kiki, you ain't all that dark. You're blocked. Because I'm already, I'm not, but we're not gonna talk about it. We're not gonna talk about it. Make up for over 40. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say this is for over 40. You're blocked. You're blocked. And, I, and I, I'm just letting you know. You know what I mean? It's, whatever I title it and whatever I say it is, just respect that. Because I'm the teacher, you're the student, and that's how it's gonna go. And if you disagree or you feel like, the video should be titled something else or that I didn't meet the criteria or the qualifications. Then you make a video that you feel like meets those criteria and you put it out there and you do it. It's nothing to talk about. It's nothing to argue about. You do you on your channel and I'm going to do me on mine. That kind of had to spin off into that a little bit. I, I had to go there because like I said, it's a lot of people who, you know, be in your face, fake rooting for you, fake clapping for you, fake applause, fake fake fucking with you. And guess what? You know what I mean? I'm I, I don't I, I'm I'm not I, I don't buy it. So so with me saying I don't buy it means I don't have no obligation to somebody who I feel like fake fucking with me. I'm gonna know you by your fruit. And if you are a person that you're making my life and my comment section uncomfortable, then you gotta go. Cause my loyalty lies with me. And that's just the end of the story.
Okay. Thank you. And I need you to do that survey for me, okay? All right, I will. Thank you so much. I'll be back. I always get these shipped up. See ya. You too. Okay, so I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, got the goods secure. He was nice. But I tell you, a, a, a dude. He, he got to touch you, don't he? He just got to touch you. Ooh, your nail's cute. And caress my nail. Sir. You know, boo, it's so early. And we are getting everything done, right? In such good timing. I think I might go to the Mariano's that I've been wanting to go to. Because it's one over here that I was going to go to. And I'm like, I don't like it. Because, see, I don't like Mariano's. Like, the ones way out in the suburbs are nice. But all of the ones that's in, like, the city, they're horrible. Because it's like, your grocery store, you supposed you have all these premium prices and all this stuff like that. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be good, right? It's not good. You know what I mean? Like, they're, they're bad. So, I found one more that I haven't checked out yet. I'm like, okay, I'm going to check that one out. And I'm gonna see if that one good. Affiliated, speculating me landing, must have got me mistaken with lame niggas. No, you gon' get high as 